this is a couple games now where especially in first quarters russell is has gone like full-on facilitator mode what, how does that affect the rhythm of a game when a point guard comes out looking to pass to the degree that he, uh, he did especially tonight early in the game i think it was it was good we knew they were going to trap brad so we needed some we needed some extra guys to participate in the scoring i thought i thought he him and Rui is i mean really they have a great synergy with one another. And it's been building up for about five or six weeks now. And I, I think tonight was another growth in that in that right direction. They were trapping them. And, and I thought Alex got some open shots and open looks around the basket. But Rolo came in and, and does the Rolo. Uh, he just, he just, I mean, I don't, sometimes, a, sometimes I think he's going to get three seconds in the key when he crosses it. But he just does it just enough. And he has good rhythm and good feel. But, he made so many winning plays for us tonight. But Russell, but Russell sets the table. When he when he does that, everybody gets involved and and, and good. And we didn't shoot the ball well from three. Uh, we didn't shoot the ball well from three, but we got a we got enough points around the rim and we made enough free throws. Yeah, and and regarding Robin Lopez, this is like five games or four out of five games where you just, I mean, he does a lot of post ups and with those hook shots. But did you think coming into this year that he was going to be shooting at this volume and just kind of ISO post-ups to the degree that he has? No, not, not really. I mean, I, I was anticipating him for him to protect the rim and, and he can't, he doesn't do that anymore. He just, all he does wants to score. He doesn't look to, to protect the rim at all. All he does wants to score buckets like the rest of the league, but he's not kidding, but I, I love him. I love, I, I just, his spirit is, perfect for our team and he's perfect for our guards i mean russell and brad are demanding and it takes uh it takes some getting used to that but they're demanding because they want our guys to, to be great we got some young guys that need to be pushed and i push them russell push them brad pushes them but rollo can handle all of that man and but he he's the way he plays around the rim he kind of settles us down that second unit. He, he's had a, 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 a nice rhythm with our second unit as well. Ava. Scott, um, after some of Rui's bigger games earlier in the season, um, meant you've mentioned how he needs to kind of be stronger in the fourth quarter and he had a really nice uh, seven points late tonight. What do you think was able he was able to do to be more successful kind of down the stretch this evening? Well, his two buckets were huge. I mean, the three really gave us a, a, a chance to get back in the game at right corner three. And that was that was a big play. He stepped up. He stepped up and made it. And on a night that we didn't make a lot of threes. Uh, but you have to you have to stay confident. You have to be able to relax in those moments and breathe and 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 step up and take it. And I think he did that. Rui's I mean, he's like I said, he's He's one of the one guys that I can really say from day one last year to now, every month he's gotten a little bit better. And that's that's great development from him and our, and our staff. But I, I like the progress he has made. And, you know, he's going to be, I mean, he's going to be good for a long time. And you've mentioned um, Denny's rebounding before, how he's always kind of able to, to help out in that area. With stuff like that, and he was able to get to the line tonight, and obviously defensive play, what makes him good at doing kind of those little things, even if he's not shooting the ball well? Yeah, you know, he's um, strong. He's a strong kid. And he's, he, sometimes I don't even realize, I don't think he realized how strong he is and how fast it, that he can run. I think he's going to, as he, as he gets more experience, he's going to be able to see that and utilize it much more. But he's rebounding right now at a very high level. And, and that, that's, a, that's a great because he, he plays with that fearless uh, approach around, around, the, around the rim. And you, we need rebounders. And he's another guy that can give us, give us rebounds. And, but his shot is gonna, it's gonna keep, it's gonna keep improving. Uh, the thing that I, I'm not really worried about is threes because he works on it. He's doing, he's doing everything he has to do. I'm more trying to get him to get involved in, that, in attacking and, and trying to get to the free throw line even more. But this is a great, this is great. When you get four attempts at the free throw line, he's going to get a better confidence on at that at that um, on the line, and he's going to be able to make those consistently. But him getting to the rim and getting to the free throw line and the three point shot is going to improve. Neil, hey Scott, I, I know you've talked about before. You know, guys 
with high usage, you know, they're going to have some turnovers. But what do you think the key is to limiting them, you know, not having those 18, 19, 20 turnover games? Yeah, you know, I mean, I thought, I thought, I mean, I'm not complaining about some calls or anything, but I thought there was at least five of them. They, they, they got some, a lot of, a lot of hands and arms and whatever you want to call it. But you got to understand, you got to be able to fight through those arms. Those guys are big time players. They're going to draw a lot of attention. They're not just going to, they're not just going, not just going to have to go around one body. You're going to have to go around two and three, and and they got to, they got to do better. I mean, six turnovers a, uh, a piece is not good. Um, but you know what? They're, they're, they're hard and their spirit is in the right place. And we like to get that down be, between them, you know, no more than seven or eight. Uh, but it's something that we just have to continue to build and work. And, you know, when we start making shots consistently, I think the, the I think the key, the, the, the lanes are going to be uh, open more. So but like, like tonight, that, that was their strategy. It was guarding really, one guy from the three really like locked in and they were giving everybody else the opportunities to take those shots. Fred. Hey, Scott, uh, I just wanted to follow up again uh, also on the, the back tightness you mentioned with Brad. Is that at all related to the hip? And do you anticipate that, uh, you know, flaring back up at all moving forward? No, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I don't, my guess would be no. I mean, I, hip bone connected to the what? I mean, I don't remember the song. It was 50 years ago. Um, I don't think so. I think it's totally separate. Probably, I mean, he hasn't done a lot, you know, uh, on the court. This is only a second game back. It's probably tightened up over that. But like I've said many times, um, we got a really good backcourt. They're skilled, they're dynamic, they're unique. But the thing that I really love about them, they're both tough as nails. And Brad is, Brad wants to play. That's like I said, he is always, how many times you guys have, have ever heard he was questionable for like six straight games? Uh, I've never. And I, every night I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be the night. It was because of he wanted to give it a chance every night. But tomorrow I'm sure he, it's going to be questionable and then we'll see how he feels. All right, last question to Christos. Hello, coach. Congratulations Hello. on the win. Thank you. I would like to ask you, what kind of statement is that win with the way that you won tonight? And how big is the contribution of Robin Lopez to your success tonight? Yeah, I mean, he was huge. I mean, it was a big win for us. I mean, we, we felt like we, we, we gave that first one away on the road trip. We could easily be 3-0 and right now, but we got to play forward. Uh, but yeah, it was a big win. This, this, they, they, they're fighting for their playoff life, and and Steph, Steph is. I mean, he is so hard to guard. He shoots, and I mean, he's he's one of the few guys in the league that when he doesn't have the ball, you're really worried more so than when he has the ball. And it's the craziest thing. It doesn't make no sense. The logic to that is just it's numbing to think that that's true. But he moves around. They. They find them, and you know Kelly Oubre made some big shots tonight from the three. But it was a good win. But uh, Rolo is Rolo's Rolo's a beast down there, man. That guy just he does he does work. He puts the work in. And the thing the thing that I love about it, he it just doesn't work in the games. He he puts the time into the pra on the practice court and works on his footwork. And you think it's traveling? I go back all the time and say, man, is that traveling? And I don't think it is, and, but it's, it's, he just has great footwork and he has a good touch around. He made a big, uh, big baseline on the right block. Shot clock was going down. We had nothing going and it was like a, not quite Jabbar, but it was like 12 feet out and it was, it was a big shot for us. What can you say about the play that Brad made there in the closing seconds, and especially uh, as we now know, coming out of the locker room with a, a back injury? Yeah, um, it was a hell of a play, but it's, it's not too surprising coming from Brad, you know? Zach? Robin, what was your angle uh, on Denny's block there at the end? And, and what did you think of that play as a fellow rim protector yourself? Yeah, you know, the 
he, he's, he's like one of the centers. He's an honorary center. Um, but that's great growth for him. Um, you know, uh, stepping up on the defensive end when we needed him to. Um, I know he's going to carry that forward. Christos. Hello, Robin. Congratulations on the win and the performance as well. How big was that win for you about your mentality and what would you like to, to build on this win? I think it was important that we um, executed down the stretch. Uh, we got it done defensively when we had to. We know we need to be more consistent on that end. We need to keep growing, but uh, definitely defense is what we need to build on. Mark. Rob, how's it going, man? How you doing? Doing well. <laughs> hey, as you uh, <laughs> see this completely, <laughs> completely off of basketball, Disneyland is uh, opening up here, the Avengers uh, campus. I know you're a big Disney guy. Um, wanted to ask you, who's your favorite Avenger? My favorite Avenger? Yeah. I've always been a fan of um, Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Hey, Brad, um, you know, we now understand you had uh, some back tightness and, and had to go to the locker room before you came back and obviously made that big shot. Could you just kind of talk us through what that process was like as you tried to kind of get right and get back out there? Uh, first part is my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, I mean, it was, it hurts. Uh, I mean, I was hurting during the game and uh, kind of limited me and a lot of stuff I wanted to do and a little frustrated too with how his plan is playing terrible in the first half. And, uh, honestly, I just went to the back. We seen their team doctor. He said it wasn't anything crazy or broken. So I figured I was just spasming uh, crazy. And, uh, you know, I just kind of told the staff, like, I, I'll just duke this out. And, you know, we were about tomorrow and tomorrow. And, uh, you know, I just stayed in the game. My teammates continued to encourage me and uplift me. And I was able to make some plays down the stretch. Fred. Yeah, Brad, Brad, given given the circumstances and the injury and how tight of a game that was, um, you know, what's what's that feeling when you sink the four point play? Uh, that's big, man, because, uh, you know, you have kind of a bad game and, you know, things aren't going your way. You always want something in the game to kind of uplift you. And that, that was the moment for me. Granted, you know, it's one of the last plays in the game and the game winner, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited about it. You know, I'm definitely, you know, I'm, it, it definitely boosted some confidence for me. Uh, but, you know, I was just, I was just trying to make a play. Ava. Brad, what do you take away from this win? You guys have had moments this year where you've kind of faded in the first half and, and you guys haven't been able to make up for it. But tonight you guys had Rui and Robin step up. What are you, I guess, what's your main takeaway? Uh, it's just our growth. You know, we uh, obviously, it helps and benefits us having, you know, a lot of depth and a full roster, uh, you know, out here. And, and you know, we try to utilize guys as much as possible and, you know, granted Rui and, uh, it's just constantly developing throughout the year. And Rolo's been, he's been magnificent for us in the post. Uh, you know, so, I mean, we need everybody. You know, Davies is, is making shots for us. Denny is constantly growing too, alongside Rui. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like things are starting to click. You know, we're, we're finally starting to get it together. And uh, hopefully we can just go ahead and finish this out and close it out and uh, continue to get better every game. Zach. Brad, I'm sure you saw that we're going to have fans in D.C., um, you know, coming up soon. So I was just wondering, you know, what it's going to be like for you to finally play in front of fans again. And was tonight one of those games like you really missed the opposing crowd or you could just scream at them? Uh, yes, I know. Uh, we kind of have some of their staff there. So we just kind of yell at the five, ten people that they have in the game. But, uh, you know, for the most part, man, it's, it's definitely exciting for us. We know D.C. is always trying to, uh, you know, be the example for the world. And, you know, we're definitely excited that we're able to have fans yeah. back, you know, obviously safety and, uh, you know, social distancing is, is obviously the most important thing here, but, you know, we appreciate the mayor and everybody involved who uh, found us fit to be able to have fans, you know, it's, uh, it's definitely uh, 
overdue for us. We feel like, uh, you know, we, we really miss, miss our, our fan base and our home crowd. Uh, they definitely mean the world to us coming back, uh, being able to play in front of some of our fans. Neil. Hey, Brad. I'm curious, just after you had hit that shot, uh, who are you winking at? Uh, it was Draymond. It was Draymond because the play before, he, he had, like, blocked my shot and I kind of traveled, and we were talking about that. Uh, I think when Steph was at the line, the play before, and uh, yeah, ironically, I, I ended up making that shot. So that was kind of a he owed me one moment. Thanks, Brad. Rest up. Hey, Rui. Obviously, you know the Warriors were throwing a lot of doubles at Brad early, and it seemed like you were able to make them pay for that. I guess, what's the thought process and how do you, you know, make sure you're aggressive from the beginning to make them pay for that? Yeah, you know, um, you guys watching, you guys been watching the game and, and of course, you know, um, I start seeing a lot of the other teams start doubling um, Brad. So, you know, basically that's how they're going to go, you know, he scored every nine, 30 points and stuff. So, you know, everybody watched films, it's cutting and stuff. So, um, us other four guys gotta, you know, start, you know, make the plays, um, find the find the find the open spots and those kind of stuff. So me today, I was just um, trying to find those open spots, like around like a free throw area, and yeah, that's my game too. You know, I shoot um, mid range my game, so like that was yeah, that was an easy shot. Um, and then yeah, we just got like just gotta we just gotta have, find a right spot. Chase. Yeah, Rui, just what, what are your thoughts on the, the play that Brad made there, uh, the four point play? And especially uh, as we now know, he came out of the locker room uh, after dealing with some some back tightness. Um, it was great, you know. Um, he had a couple um, layups that he, he could have gotten a foul, but they didn't call. So he was kind of upset, I feel like it. And he made a shot and he showed emotion. So it was great. It was great. Uh, it was a big time shot um, by him. And yeah, we definitely needed one. Zach. Rui, how's the shoulder feeling? And I mean, obviously you felt like you were in a much better rhythm tonight. Um, so how much was that just feeling 100%? It's been great, you know. Uh, I was I was up for a couple games. so. I was a little bit out of shape the first game, the last uh, last game. But today I was I felt good. Start start from the beginning and especially the third quarter. I played the whole uh, whole uh, full third quarter, so you know I felt good. I felt great. And tomorrow we have a, uh, another game, so I just got to get ready for it. Uh, you're on. Um, Rui, uh, you guys had some great plays in the clutch. Uh, you made a couple of baskets, of course, Brad's. But can you talk about Denny's uh, defense there at the, at the last play? Oh, it was great. Um, he, we, I think we miscommunicate the switch, and he was backside Danny. Danny, he goes, he wasn't ready to get uh, help. Um, it was a great play by him. Um, yeah, that that helps a lot for sure.